So if we see the differences between the Tailwind and the other CSS frameworks, so let's have a look at the differences between the Tailwind and the Material UI. So the features offered with the Tailwind is, it offers the utility classes to use in the elements. So we add the classes in the elements, so we do not use the components, but with the Material UI, it offers the predefined components, predefined set of components to use with the custom flexibility to build the UI. So Material UI provides you a UI tools that you can use to save you a lot of time for building the UI components. But with the Tailwind, it offers the utility classes, like you have a bit more flexibility to use with the CSS elements. You can design that from the scratch. You can design your own as well. So that's how the Tailwind works. And if you see the flexibility options, so the Tailwind is easy to use and flexible with customizing the CSS. And with the Material UI, so if we need to customize any component in the Material UI, then we create the style components for the custom styling. So that's how the Tailwind wins with the flexibility only. So that's why we use the Tailwind. And I will not argue that the Tailwind is good or Material UI is good. So both are good, but as per your requirements. So if you need to use the set of UI tools, set of UI components, then you can use Material UI. But if you want your design starting from the scratch by using the utility classes of the CSS, then the Tailwind is good option. So both are equivalent options according to me. So you have the choice to choose the Tailwind or Material UI. So now we'll be seeing the Tailwind inside this course. So let's work with the Tailwind.